Greetings, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to Dr. Darina Shine TV. This is the new influence for 2024. We're moving into a new year. We're closing out this year. It's a beautiful time, and I'm so grateful that you're here with me, and you have been here with me. Previously, we were the former R. Kelly Appeal TV, and that was where we were looking at the injustices of what was going on in the New York Appeal and Chicago Appeal for Robert Sylvester Kelly. Uh, before that, we were the business solutions after 2020 pandemic, and we were talking about how to look at the highs and lows in the business that we were in and how that was going to be impacted by the pandemic. Well, we're still moving into that direction with the new Chronicles of a Nonprofit that is coming up um, on a consistent basis, and we want you to be aware of that. Chronicles of a Nonprofit is looking at the highs and lows in business development as a business influencer for the YouTube channel. Our YouTube family is so has been a big part of our success online uh, with opportunities, with being able to influence by communicating through the videos and getting the information and content out. So I thank you very, very much for being a part and us being a partner with YouTube. Now we're going to move into a new perspective as a YouTube influencer, and that is working with the appeal process for the justice of Robert Sylvester Kelly, by which we will be working and updating everyone on the appeal process for that. And it will be every Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we will talk about what is taking place. When there is nothing taking place, we're going to go back and revisit some of the of the areas of the case that were overstretching. So we could always have that historical communication of what took place during the process of the R. Kelly appeal. Now, moving into weekly chronicles of a nonprofit, as a leader in business, I talk about the highs and lows and the moral value of being a business developer, being an owner, being a product of a nonprofit organization, and what the community deals with as new entrepreneurs on a, a small basis for small businesses. Um, we also work with, you know, million dollar industries, trillion dollar industries. We have that in our portfolio. So we are moving in that direction. And so consistently, you will be hearing from Chronicles of a Nonprofit. It's more or less like a half hour uh, rendition of some business moral uh, experience or something that we have benefited from as we have moved into business development, what we're dealing with, the highs and lows, the negativity, um, people who are not in the process of doing what they need to do. And so they want to downgrade what is being done. Like, for example, I'm a, as a property partner with a few investors, what I do is I manage property. And I have had in, individuals say things like, you're greedy because you're charging so much rent. But what they don't understand is a person who pays rent does not have to pay taxes. They do not have to pay for roof. They do not have to pay for electrical, um, you know, updates. They do not have to pay for structural foundations. They don't have to pay for furnaces, and those things are big ticket items in a house. And then to allow someone to come in, move in, with all the tenant laws and rules that are directly geared for, you know, keeping someone in your house, you lose your rent opportunities, you know, people move without giving 30 day notices, they're not consistent with um, just being respectful to the fact that a person has put that much investment into something that they value. And so of course, you want to empower people to know that you pay a little bit more, you'll respect it a little more because you already understand, because you're already paying. You're already paying for things that would be broken, for things that would go astray. Um, and then as you prove and show yourself, you never know. 
income can go down, you know, uh, the cost of, of renting can go down, opportunities for land contracts could be introduced, you know, first time home buyer concepts and different things like that can be afforded, but you got to start somewhere. And if credit is not an issue, because everybody's credit has been hurt in some form or fashion when the pandemic happened, 2020, when it took place. So these are things that we're going to talk about. We're going to get to the nitty gritty of it. We're going to talk about the IRS. We're going to talk about what we need to do when it's time to, you know, work on our taxes. We're going to have to make sure that we are really, you know, reporting what goes on in the 1099s with uh, all the electronic um the electronic apps that are out that we're using, people are sending money, da 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 da. There's a certain amount of money that you need to report um, because the IRS just doesn't play, especially with with entrepreneurs and businesses, the small businesses. They're trying to revamp on people who have manipulated PPP loans. They're trying to just benefit from all the things that they had to give away. Look at the gas prices, and I know in my community. I know ga uh, gas prices has increased just as the um, traffic lights and the stops for traffic is more consistent. It's shorter in time, so you're waiting at the red light much longer, and that is increasing the opportunity to waste gas so that you will have to go back to the gas station <laughs> or upgrade your car to electric, which I believe that that's the way they're all trying to go, but that's a whole nother topic. So I do talk about that. I talk about going through and showing walkthroughs and how one should know how to apply you know, the walkthrough process and the agreements and different things like that to make sure that the restoration of success is there. You also have uh, times where you, you're just going to go through stress. And in as a nonprofit, I know for me personally, you know, I've been called uh, things that I'm not even I'm not even, you know, I've been called group homes, I've been called room and boarding, and I've been called all this stuff when all I run is a program. And that program is a second chance educational program. And if somebody is in need of a place to stay for the night, they're welcome to stay with me. But other than that, I have no idea what this is, but it's not my problem. And if it's not on the books and if it's not there, then I mean, hey, they, they, there's a thing called an appeal process. So I'm grateful for that. But to have to even go through that, it's, it's really stressful, especially if this is your first time ever having to go through it. So I will talk to you about things like that. The little hidden agendas of, of people you know, trying to sabotage your growth before you even build your business. I believe that's one of the reasons why there's so many rules and regulations that you have to have in order to create a business in certain places because people just want that money. They want a fee for this. They want an application for that. They want uh, to get into your business. But if they're not the IRS, again, you know, you know, there are ways that we can work with people by not working with people or working with people who are going to give us the respect that's needed. And, and that's all that we're expecting. That's all we're wanting. There is someone who called me the other day and we had a nice conversation about why they feel, why should they decide to empower themselves with a passion of something that they're already doing very, very good at it. Product services are out the water, doing great, great with natural products. Why should they start a business when they hear the highs and lows of what I go through? Because if your passion is your passion, and this is something that you want to leave as a legacy, why should you give it away for nothing? Why would you not put it on the books and say, this is what I'm contributing back to my community? Not to say, oh, look at me, look at me, look at me. No, it's to say that I earned this opportunity. And when you're in the field of leadership, 
You want more people to get in contact with you. And I know word of mouth is the best way to go. It really, truly is. However, in that word of mouth, if we are found out that there is a discrepancy of some sort, it's going to fall back on us. It definitely will in the long run. Or we're not going to make the type of money that we would if we were streamlined and consistent. Because after you make so much money, you're going to have to answer to where this money is coming from. And if it's legitimate and it's a business, why not just accept it as the business and move forward? Um, So, yeah, we're going to talk about things like that. I also, as a YouTube influencer, would like to empower people to just be motivated uh, through universal thinking, through ways that we can move in this society without being afraid and in fear because of someone who could be watching Big Brother, Big Sister, and try to take what is rightfully ours. We want to make sure that we know that we're not alone in that and that there are people in this world who are bullies. They have always been bullies. They're comfortable with the bully status, and they're narcissistically conditioned to get the entitlement process. So we're going to talk about things like that. We're going to talk about how, you know, a system looks at you as guilty until proven innocent. And we're going to look at that through the R. Kelly appeal process. We're also going to look at how eviction processes work um, and get more in detail with the Ohio laws. I'm going to be going and looking at the whole biblical text of evictions in Ohio, so we will know our rights as landlords and property owners and managers coming from other states. Um, also, you know, what rules and guidelines we need to follow. So I'm going to be putting that as a blueprint here as well. So you're going to have a lot of different creative things that is going to take place on this channel. I hope you are ready for the change because it is about to happen. And If you like what you hear right now, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to this podcast. Now, mind you, there are going to be people with good, valid reasons of why they like or dislike something. That's not going to be an issue. But what will become an issue is when a person takes their opinion and makes it a derogatory statement towards an individual in which we are either interviewing podcasting for, such as Robert Sylvester Kelly, um, there is not going to be the negativity on this channel because it's going to be any inappropriate um, comments or whatever will be held and um, for review before it's submitted out anyway. So you can leave it. It just won't be shown. (laughs) So I learned that back in 2020, not to do, not to just allow comments to just be aired. I had to streamline that and uh, that it has become much better, much better. And uh, we have a platform that is directly derived specific. And uh, so, yeah, I am so inspired to move on to 2024. We will definitely be having a New Year's conversation about some of the questions, some of the things we've endured over the year with Robert Sylvester Kelly. Um, That will always be on a Sunday night. So hopefully New Year's is, I think New Year's last year was on a Sunday. I'm not sure. But um, we will be getting into that. So that would be something that I really want you to be involved in. And with that, thank you so much for the new change, being here with us. Uh, Check out our shorts some of the things that we're doing in our community and just putting things out there for individuals to comment on and maybe learn something from. So be consistent, be ready, and be the best you you can be in the shoes that you're rocking because you're rocking it. You're doing a damn thing. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.